Blessed day, my people. So in today's video, we're going to talk about Sean Kingston's sister breaking her silence. And of course, this is after the entertainer and her mother was arrested recently, my people. And also, I have some more information that has been released to the public in relation to Mama Kingston. She gets slapped with a whole heap of charges, my people. You see me? Crazy amount of charges. Also, them release her mug shots and be things, my people. Of course, I'm going to give you know, the information so you can know exactly what was going on. Because most of you would have already known, say, you know, no, Sean Kingston and his mother was arrested. So this is just basically an update, is it? Also, we're going to talk about Shensia. Speaking about the backlash she has been getting from Jamaicans and also how the Bob Marley movie actually remind her of herself, the struggles that she got through in her music and them thing there. Also, we're going to talk about some more update that we're getting in relation to Ivani, who is still behind bars, my people. And this update has come from a babysitter and she does reveal something. So I'm going to actually give you another update on that. Also, we're going to talk about a mobia killer gets indicted for the 2021 taking out of a mother and child and also the girl mother basically break silence and you know she thank the people them for the support and them thing a lot of one must remember the youth named dujan griffiths him they depend the run for some time and them eventually catch him so i'll give you some update on that whole situation also i gotta talk about hip-hop superstar Nicki minaj being arrested in amsterdam and this is for allegedly having some drugs spanner you see my people i think them say are weed but of course you know them consider that drugs and thing anyway also i gotta talk about bounty killer addressing the new dancehall music not dominating the place and this is after Aini Kamose song Hot Stepper actually re-enters the Billboard charts yes my people and of course you know that song come out from in the 90s so it a going with itself and also we're going to talk about Vibes Cartel showing off his new house that he will be after he's released from prison yes my people so before we're going to further into the topics don't forget to like share and subscribe also head over to my Instagram page Mix Up Time 4 but I definitely appreciate it all right people so the first thing we're going to talk about is Sean Kingston's sister who made a post on her IG page and you don't know she had thanked the people them who show support to her mother and her brother and of course this is after they were both recently arrested and I don't hear about Sean Kingston being on bail as yet but me see some things come out in relation to Mama Kingston which me go read to now after this but anyway me could actually get to the post where Sean Kingston's sister make on her Instagram page right so she said a special thank you to everyone for the outpouring of love and support for Sean and Mama Kingston we love and truly appreciate you all. When you are great, there will be hate. But when the prayers go up, the blessing comes down. God bless. Yes, it. And she also go on to say, who God bless? No man curse. And you don't know she posts up photos with her and her mother. And also photos with her and Sean Kingston. You see, my people. So it kind of seems like she has a whole heap of hate to go on because, you know, the family is blessed and them are going good and them thing. You see, my people. Not sure if that's really the case. But of course, she's entitled to her own opinion and thing and thing. You see it. And of course, her mother that. So you know, she got right for her mother and her brother. You understand? Seem like she and Sean have a good relationship. But we definitely know say, she and her mother have a good relationship. You see, my people. So. Let me know anything about what Sean Kingston's sister says it about the hate where the family are getting. You know, when things are going good for them, all the people just are hate upon them. Let me know if you think that's the case and that the family was set up. Yes, it. Anyway, my people, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. Now, I'm going to give you another update in relation to some charges that Sean Kingston's mother was slapped with. And you don't know, all the information them leak out. They also put out her mug shot on the internet. Because you know America that and that's not going to be something them keep. Yes, it. Anyway, let us get to this article so I understand what's going on. And as usual, you can tell me what you think. So the article is saying, $160,000 ban for rapper Sean Kingston. Kingston mom who is charged with fraud theft. The mother of Kisan Anderson who is in the music world as Sean Kingston appeared before a judge on Friday. Johnny Sterner 61 was arrested on Thursday during a raid of on the singer Southwest Ranch's mansion. Her son would find himself in handcuffs hours later in California on an arrest warrant from Broward County. During Turner's bond court hearing the judge read off the eight fraud and theft charges against her. In arguing for a high bond amount the the prosecutor brought up her previous records. This is not Miss Turner first time with this type of conduct. She has a 2005 federal conviction for bank fraud where she was sentenced to 16 months in federal prison, attorney Eric Linda told the judge. 
Turner's attorney argued for a more lenient ban. There are no violent priors. This case is not violent in nature. She doesn't pose a threat to the community, said Sam Stark. In the end, the judge kept the bond at $160,000. Her attorney will have to prove the money for the bond is from a legitimate source, not something illegal. Attorney Bob Rosenblatt, who represents the singer and his mother, said he expects Turner will be released soon. She'll be resting her head on a pillow back in Southwest Ranches tonight, he told CBS News. Kingston, on the other hand, is being held without bond in San Bernardino, California, waiting to be sent back to Florida. We wanted to bring them back as soon as possible so he could self-surrender, but they grabbed them before we could do that, Rosenblatt said, and he going to waive extradition. You would think Osama bin Laden was there with all of the use of force that they used for their long guns and SWAT teams and masks and everyone else like that. You know, it was very crazy. Certainly overreacted, he added. We talked to another jeweler who said he was planning to sue and send CBS News Miami a receipt. He claimed the mother and son duo owed him 133000 for two watches and a 56 carat necklace. Kingston, who was renting the mansion, is accused of not completing payments to Verver Entertainment on a $150,000 entertainment system that included a 232 inches television. According to the complaint, Kingston persuaded the company to accept a low of down payment and credit towards the purchase by saying he would produce promotional videos for the company with Justin Bieber. Dennis Card, who represents Verver Entertainment, said that Kingston scams people by using his fame. Kingston attorney said this is a civil case and he believed this may have happened because of a celebrity because of his celebrity status and is looking forward to his day in court. So that's what's going on, my people. You understand the thing about this is, is them say Sean Kingston mother do it already in the past you know so you know maybe if it was a first time offense then her ban would have probably been at, at less you see me but I think them want each other a lesson so I'm not sure what's going to happen my people you can't tell me anything and as it relates to Sean Kingston I guess you know them obviously still have him behind bars and them are wait for extradite him and all of that so let me know anything about this situation in the comment section is it so the next thing we're going to talk about is some international news in relation to the Queen of hip hop Nicki Minaj who was arrested my people on Instagram live and you don't know say you know them catch her with some weed and thing so let me actually get to this story so I understand what's going on is it so it's a Nicki Minaj arrested on Instagram live in Amsterdam after arriving for tour Nicki Minaj was arrested by Dutch police in Amsterdam after she was filming the entire RD live on Instagram it's unclear the reason why police tried to take her into custody shortly after her arrival for the tour or for her tour but one police was heard telling her that she needed to come with them to the police station. Another officer told her she was under arrest because she was carrying drugs. Nicki Minaj was heard saying, I'm not carrying anything. I'm not carrying any drugs. I am not going in there. I need a lawyer present. No, I need a lawyer present. No. The police officer responded to her saying, you have to go to the police station. You are under arrest. During the ordeal, Nicki Minaj's confusion and frustration only grew more palpable the rapper demanded the presence of a lawyer to help her navigate the situation as tensions rise between her and the law enforcement officials. She constantly expressed her uncertainty about the charges and whether she would safely and timely get to her show. So I'm under arrest. Under arrest for what? I need a lawyer because I don't know where I'm going, she said. Nicki Minaj shares her frustration with dealing with customs officials in Europe as she arrived for the second leg of her Pink Friday 2 Gag City World Tour. The Trinidadian rapper shared a clip on her social media account of her talking to an official in Amsterdam who explained to her why officers were searching her bags. According to Nicki Minaj, unnamed persons are paying officials to sabotage her tour. She previously Previously made the same allegations about dealing with customs and immigration officials in Canada. They've been trying to stop me from coming to every show she wrote. They took my bags before I could see them, put it on the plane, now saying they're waiting on customs. This is what it looks like when people are paid big money to try to sabotage a tour after all else failed. Everything they've done is illegal. The Barbie World rapper says she is convinced that someone is trying to stop her from going to her shows. Nicki Minaj has since started to trend on X, formerly Twitter, with the hashtag.
hashtag free Nicki Minaj or free Nicki I should say receiving tens of thousands of mentions so you don't know the Barbie fans them are going to forward out because they want them rapper to be freed and thing and thing as it so I guess we have to watch and see what's going to happen in relation to this as it my people I wonder if they really are trying to set up Nicki Minaj. Boy, oh boy. Let me know anything about this in the comment section, is it? So the next thing we're going to talk about is Shensia, who recently did an interview. In that interview, she talked about the backlash what she get from Jamaicans. Also talk about, you know, watching Bob Marley movie, you know, twice because the movie kind of remind her of certain things where she go through. You understand, my people? So let me get to this article so I understand what's going on. So it says, Shensia watched Bob Marley biopic twice because it reminds her of her own struggles in music. Shensia also spoke about her new album and backlash that she get from Jamaicans. Shensia's new album, Never Gets Late Here, was released on Friday and the dancehall artist discussed the project during an interview released earlier today. The singer also discussed the backlash she received after venturing into different genres as well as her relationships and why she has chosen to keep them private. Never Gets Late Here is Shensia's sophomore album Following the release of her first studio album Alpha in 2022, Shensia debuted her first song of the album It and Run featuring Massacre in January. A decision the Sing Jay said was made to satisfy her fans calling for more reggae slash dancehall tracks. Speaking on Hot 97, Shensia expressed that her core fan base felt like she was leaving them behind, but she had been working on new reggae slash dancehall tracks for the album. She further explained that she initially felt like she was being held by by her fans who wanted her to create the same type of music. However, the artist shared that she has gained perspective over the past few months and now understand that her fans wanted music that resonated with them and the culture. All the talking that they were doing, I felt like it was more of trying to hold me back. But you know, now I sat and I just look at everything that was going on in the past couple of months. I was like, okay, now I can see what was taking place at the time. With just the great music and fix it, Shensia stated. The Good Comfort singer went on to discuss some of the inspiration behind the songs featured on her album, such as Keep a Place. According to Shensia, the track was partially inspired by the long distance relationship she has had, as well as a desire for Jamaicans to never forget her. Further speaking on relationships, the artist said she is willing to write about them in her music, but keep them private as she talks, as she takes them very seriously. You can hear about the mess, I'll write about it. But for you to see me with this partner and it didn't work out, and then you see me with another, and then you see me, it's not my vibe. And I've learned because I've seen so many women go through it and they're just normally living their lives, Shensia stated. In the 26 minutes long interview, Shensia also talked about loving the Bob Marley One Love biopic so much that she already watched it twice because it reminds her of her own struggle. Yes, my people. So that's what's going on with Shensia. Shensia is it. Um, Shensia says something still, you know, which is true. The fans, them, not really try to hold her back, you know, but you can never forget about your core fans, them, because them type of music that they dance all and the reggae, I where them love you for, I where them know you for. So when you transition and I do different music, you have to understand, say, yeah, yeah, your core fans, them, I go complain, you understand? So you might gain new fans, yes, but you always have to remember where you come from. Anyway, my people, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So the next thing we're going to talk about is Vibes Cartel, who shows off his new home. Yes, my people. MC Nuffy also confirms a really Vibes Cartel house, which is where he will be heading when he, when he busts off the case, then basically. MC Nuffy say Cartel now posts up people property. So let me get to this article. Only can tell me anything, is it? So it's a Vibes Cartel shows lavish home interior as trial hearing date draws near. As the hearing to decide if he will get his freedom draws near, Vibes Cartel is seemingly planning for an unrestricted lifestyle and showed off the lavish interior of what may be his new home on Friday. Cartel was convicted in the 2014 taking out of Clive Lizard Williams. However, in March 2024, the United Kingdom-based Privy Council overturned his conviction along with that of his co-accused, opening a path for the DJ to to possibly gain his freedom. Yesterday, the artist took to Instagram page to display the interiors of a lavish but unfinished home that may be his luxury hideaway if he's released. The video, which was shared on his stories, featured 
several photos of the home whose landscape does not suggest it is located in Jamaica. Among the features of the secluded home are expensive rooms and modern fixtures. The summertime artist associate MC Nuffy reshared the video on his page and said that the property is in fact owned by Vibes Cartel, the general now post people place as him Joppa Road straight home to this luxurious place, Nuffy wrote. Following the overturning of cartel conviction, the Jamaica's Court of Appeal is scheduled to begin hearing submissions on June the 10th and whether to order a retrial for the entertainer or have him released. So yes, my people, it seems like Vibes Cartel is more than optimistic in relation to him freedom, is it? Man, I post house and all these things, my people. So it's a good look still, is it? Big up to the world boss all the way, is it? Anyway, my people, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So the next thing we're going to talk about is Bounty Killer, showing reasons why 90s dancehall can never die. Now, when I remember the Aini Kamosi song named Here Comes the Yacht Staper, Murderer, well, that song, my people, from over how much years ago, actually end up back from Billboard, you see it. So an article was posted which... Bounty Killer goes up and reshare the article on him Instagram page, right? So you can see it. I need come out see, here come the hot stepper re revisits billboard. In the caption, Bounty say, Now just look at that. 29 years ago and re-entered the billboard. So where is the new dancer dominance if 90 sound should die? Today the whole culture disappears. Thank God for the works of the pioneers and the legends before and after. Get it, my people. So that's our bounty I say. And really and surely, my people, me as a man love 90s, I love the 2000 dance all them. You see, my people, now I have no problem with even the new dance all now. But at the same time, time and time again, 90s proved themselves to be a very dominant um, force to be reckoned with. I guess you can say, you see, it. 90s music will never go away. So, you don't know what they shall give or upset some people where they say, oh, you know, certain dancehall music are the, not music, the type of dancehall die out, you know, the trap dancehall around the place now, which Shaggy made that statement there. Not sure if him said the way he said, see, but it kind of upset a lot of persons, producers speak out, all type of people start burning out Shaggy because of that. So, you know, this is one more way for sure, so the old time music will always continue to sell. Anyway, my people, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So, the next thing we're going to talk about is Dujan Griffiths, which is a guy from Montego Bay who has officially been indicted for the taking out of a young lady and her daughter. You understand? and my people. So, I'm going to read the article. Also, the young lady that was taken out, her mother made a post I thank the people them for the support and them thing. But I'm going to read the article first before I show you the video and the caption where the mother posts it. Anyway, my people, this is what the article says. Moby a gangster indicted for Florida K-I-L-L-I-N-G-S. Dujan Griffiths, the 24-year-old man implicated in the 2001 taking out of fellow Montego Bay residents, 20-year-old Massenia Carla Malcolm and her one-year-old daughter Jordania was indicted on M-U-R-D-E-R and gun charges by a Florida grand jury on Wednesday. Griffiths, who was on the run for three years after the March 2021 incident, was apprehended more than a thousand miles away from the scene of the crime during a traffic stop in New Jersey two months ago. Griffiths, who had altered his appearance from clean cut to flowing dreadlocks, was extradited to Florida to face justice. The situation sent shockwaves across Montego Bay, especially in Glendevon, where Malcolm and Griffiths both resided prior to moving to the United States. Malcolm's mother, Lataya Bodisha Reed, who also resides in the United States, was a popular personality on the party circuit in Montego Bay before she migrated. According to the local police, Griffiths, who reportedly entered the United States illegally, was linked to gangland activities here in Jamaica before moving to the United States. He is now facing charges of first-degree MURDER, attempted first-degree MURDER with a firearm, and three counts of shooting at, shooting at or into a building. Before Malcolm was taken out and her baby daughter left locked up in the car in which the situation took place to perish the heat and suffocation. Griffiths is said to have con and seriously injured Malcolm's boyfriend, the father of her child at their home. Thinking the man was dead, he reported forced her to drive him away from the location to the parking lot 
um, where she was taken out. According to a source close to Malcolm, as an act of kindness, she and her boyfriend had taken Griffiths, who had recently arrived from Jamaica and did not have a place to live into their new home, where he lived free of charges for several months. After no noticing that Griffiths was showing no inclination or indication of moving out or contributing towards the household bills, he was asked to leave. So people, that's not the full article, but obviously I true them ask him for cotton. You know, him goes a woman, you know, goes and try to take out the boyfriend and end up doing him do to the girl and our baby. Very sad situation, my people. So as I said, the girl mother now, you know, make a post, I thank the people them for, you know, they just support her in relation to all of this, because you lose your granddaughter and you lose your daughter. Cha -cha. Anyway, check out that clip here and then I'll show you where she write in the caption. Mm -hmm. I just want to say a big, big thank you to each and everyone for everything throughout this journey. Every single thing I want to thank everybody for. Because, you see, some people are very popular. Men, women that pass and it's like they just forgot me. And everyone help to keep my daughter and my granddaughter's memory alive thank you for the host thank you for the show totes thank you for the shares thank you for everything throughout this journey you understand and it may not get me individually thank everyone i'm doing a general thank you general thank you to everybody that have been instrumental throughout this horrible time of my life every birthday is y'all show up every anniversary anything that I'm doing even just to comment even just the like I thank you guys you understand call and call it. honestly me like what I wanna do with them call and call a star I tell you the truth and it takes resilience, it takes perseverance, it takes strength to push through because a lot of parents that lost kids, it's not like they don't want to push through with certain things but it's, it's hard, it's really hard so a firm ground, you understand and I not take up my foot off my necks because the John of the good home. and the John get the full length, full length, the maximum. I yeah, can't tell you that. Y'all know that I don't play when it comes to Carl and Carly. Full length, my gift. I still not take up my foot off a certain leg, because guess what? Poor people are for good looking at this. <laughs> you understand? This is a big leg, and I come off a neck. Mm -hmm. And no, no, nobody can stop me. But it's just a thank you to everyone. I really appreciate it. Really appreciate it. You guys keep me going. You guys keep me going. Understand? Sometimes I feel like I give up, but when I remember saying, I have good people in my corner. And talk about the negativity. I have real good people in my corner. And at them, I really want to come out to say thank you to. Yeah, my people, so that's what's going on. And in the caption, she said, Yesterday, Mark, what would have been my beloved daughter's 23rd birthday, though she is no longer with us, her spirit continues to light up our lives in countless ways. I am deeply grateful to everyone who has reached out with words of comfort, shared memories, and expressed their love and support during this time. Your kindness and compassion mean the world to me, and they help keep the memory alive thank you for standing by my side and honoring my and honoring her beautiful life you see it my people so that's what the mother had to say um as me say people very 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 sad situation is it so let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section so the next thing we're gonna talk about is ivani and by now most i want to know that ivani is still behind bars even though we did hear rumors what they say she free and all of that but that's not the case so let me get to this article so i understand what's going on is it 
So it's an update on Ivani and $25,000 funds from recent GoFundMe. An update on Ivani writes, court case was given by a woman said to be their babysitter. The update was given through an Instagram live and she answered questions from the public about what was going on. According to the woman, whose username is NatsFlyQueen, Ivani is still in lockup. However, she leaves it up to God and time. Ivani was arrested and charged on U.S. soil on April 4, 2024, and she has so far been charged with four offenses, including terrorist threats and acts and harass harassing communications with a total bond amount set at $2,100. US A GoFundMe was created to the social media personality to help offer her lawyer costs, and according to Nats, the $25,000 that they collected was given to me and it was used to pay three attorneys that was very expensive. When the GoFundMe was originally created, Amari accused RT boss of and Ivan of being scammers and asking for the money on TikTok. Thus, many people wanted to know where the money was going after it was collected. The footage of the live was shared on her Instagram page. The comment section was divided on how Ivani's immature failure will play out after she's released. Someone said, God be a fence around Ivani. None of us not perfect. Let God be her judge. Poor Ice needs his mommy. While another individual pointed out, and when she gets out, she's still gonna do the same thing. So, yeah, my people, that's what's going on with Ivani. You know, not a big update, but... You know, one of the main thing is that she's still behind bars. So the rumors already that circulate what they about she free at least them they get shut down and thing. You understand my people? Why this not look good at all. From them have her for so long, me can't tell you that this doesn't look good. Yes it. Only thing we can say is we wish Ivan the best and yeah, them say something, none of us not perfect, but at the same time, you know, you have to be held accountable for your actions no matter what. And yeah, it's not like Ivan is a little pitney. You understand a big girl when no right from wrong. So when you're up there and you know you're not straight and you have the certain things, you have to understand so the authorities will definitely get you. Anyway, my people, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. And that's it for the video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bless upon yourself until I drop the next video. I'm out.